Hey guys, Neil here with Aviator Q. Welcome back to another episode. On today's video, it's going to be a rib experimentation day. Uh, we got three different racks of ribs. We're all going to cook them similar on the Weber Smoky Mountain, uh, but we're going to season them up a little different, we're going to rub them a little different, and we're going to wrap them a little different. So sit back, relax, welcome aboard. This one ought to be fun. Alright guys, welcome back. So for the experimentations today, what we're going to do is uh, we're kind of going to make a play on the ribs that we did uh, what, two weeks ago for the Super Bowl party. I'm going to be doing uh, kosher salt and pepper. We're going to be adding a little bit of Malcolm Reed's, uh, the barbecue rub to one. Uh, I wanted to use a little bit of Cosmos Cubes product on the other. I think we're going to go with the sweet, uh, uh, sweet honey pecan rub. It's a little bit of a sugary glaze for them. And then we might do one kind of like uh, salt, pepper, maybe the Killer Bee Chipotle honey rub, I think. Um, for the wraps, we're going to do some in aluminum. We're going to do some in butcher's paper. Kind of see how it, uh, how it all works out. Like I said, every time I barbecue, I try to experiment a little bit. This is just, uh, I had a three-pack of ribs that were all frozen together, so I had to do three. I couldn't thaw one without hauling the other. So it's, we're just going to do three ribs together, kind of play around with them, see how they all kind of turn out, and uh, maybe give you guys some great ideas for the next time you do some ribs. So here's our three racks of ribs. Guys, as always, you want to you want to feel on the ribs. Make sure uh, you don't see anything. I just found a bone that was stuck to it from a def different set of bone, uh, from a different set of ribs. These definitely aren't the prettiest ribs, but uh, like I said, they'll do for uh, they'll do for what we're doing with them. Just kind of cleaning up uh, some loose chunks of uh, meat, feeling around for any rough bones. Sometimes you'll see this weird flap right here. That's, I think that's connected from another rib. I don't think that's, that'll survive the cook, so we're going to take that off. There's a weird, there's a weird bone right here. There's like half a bone sticking out. Yeah, he cut it on an angle. I'm just going to come right up here next to this bone. Trim all this off. kind of make it square. These are St. Louis style ribs guys. Um, globby fat right there. I don't know if that stuff will render off so we'll just kind of lay the knife flat and kind of shave that down a little bit. Guys last time I uh, kind of glossed over taking the membrane off you guys can see the membrane right here. It's the real shiny part. You can see kind of right there is where it, it kind of comes off. Easiest thing to do here is kind of, I like to go kind of between this the, the rib meat here. I'm going to take a butter knife and I'm going to shove this butter knife right up underneath it. Kind of, just kind of going in between those two ribs here. See if I can't get a little finger hole in there. Once I got a little room for my finger, I'm just working my finger in there. Basically trying to lift it up where I can get I can get a good grab on it. Then we'll just come in. Kind of tore it right there. Let's see if we can't come in with the left hand here. I'm gonna come in farther down the bone. Use my left hand. There we go. See, I got that knife under there. Just gonna run it up under there. See how once you get that lifted, you just come in with a piece of paper towel that kind of holds it. That give you a little bit better grip. Hold the rib with one hand. Kind of pull it with the other. There's the membrane. You don't have to do it. A lot of people do it. Uh, the competition guys, a lot of the competition guys will always do it. But uh, we're just going to go through here. We're going to get the rest of these trimmed up, get the membranes off of them. Then we'll show you seasoning them and getting them on the grill. Alright, so to begin we're going to start with the, the layering of mustard like I always do. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to select two of these ribs that kind of match each other. And I'm going to just put the same rub on them 
and then cook one with foil, one with tin foil. And for the smaller one, I think I'm going to just try some of the uh, the Cosmos Q on that. And I'm going to go with the Kit Chipotle Killer B. So to begin, we're just going to start. Get you a little bit of just French's yellow mustard or any kind of yellow mustard, really. I'm always, I always want to start on the back of the rib. And just kind of working it in. This gives you something for the for the seasoning to stick to. Alright, the Weber Smoky Mountain is coming up to temperature. We've got the ribs seasoned up. They've been sweating a little bit. They've got a little bit of wetness and tackiness to them. It's time to get them on the uh, smoker. We're going to leave them uncovered for about three hours around 280 degrees. So we're coming up to about the three and a half hour mark. We're going to pull the ribs off. We're going to get them wrapped and we're going to continue the cook. Um, this top rib right here is the rib that's uh, flavored with the, uh, the Cosmos Q uh, Killer Bee Chipotle. Of the ribs, this was my least favorite. It was kind of fatty. It just didn't look all that aesthetically pleasing. Um, the rubs kind of got some nice color. It got a little lighter spots there. I'm going to hit that up right as we uh, put it in foil. But we're going to wrap that in foil. For the bottom two, those were the ones that had the exact same uh, killer hog, barbecue rub, salt, and pepper. One's going to be in foil. One's going to be in butcher's paper. Alright, so I'm going to hit this bare spot just a little bit with a little bit a little more light seasoning. Any kind of bald spots we're going to hit kind of right in there. Maybe hit Alright, we're going to flip the rib over, meat side down, and wrap it up. Try to work your fingers out, try to make that as tight as possible. All 
All right, this is the killer hog salt and pepper one that we're going to do in foil. Alright guys, now for the butcher paper. Lay that fat down, grab that, kind of seat it in there. There we go. All right, so it's been about almost six hours uh, since we since we've been cooking at the ribs. Haven't looked at the ribs. Kind of what I'm looking for when we go to pull off. I'm, I'm just kind of wanting to get my fingers underneath them and feel. If you notice how the ribs kind of just you can almost move the meat side to side in between the bones. It feels like it kind of wants to it bend on itself by the weight. That's kind of what I'm looking for. With the paper, it's a little harder to feel. It's a little bit stiffer, but kind of just the bendiness there. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. We're going to get these things unwrapped. We're going to take a look at them. We're going to see which one's better, foil or paper. All right, guys, so here we go head to head. The one on the left or bottom, so this one is going to be the ribs cooked in butcher paper. This one is going to be the ribs that were wrapped in foil. Now those two ribs are identical in every way as far as rub and cook time. That right there is the ribs with the Cosmo Q. It's not as textured. Uh, it's got a nice golden color to it. Uh, we'll kind of see how that one goes out. But uh, as far as kind of what I'm looking at I don't know I'm kind of feeling the, the uh, butcher paper wrapped but uh, that's just me I'm gonna put some uh, barbecue sauce on this pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes kinda let that uh, barbecue sauce on the thicken and uh, we're gonna call it a cook and eat so this is the absolute finished product again foil or I'm sorry butcher paper foil and then the Cosmos Q in the foil. I put uh, the Cosmos Q original competition barbecue sauce on that one. Just kind of brush it on, popped it in the oven. For the one on the uh, for the one on the right, I put some. Uh, it's called the original rib candy. Uh, it's a mango habanero glaze. Uh, that's what kind of gives it the shine and everything. That was kind of a sweet rub. I figured I'd hit it with something kind of sweet with a little bit of pep, uh, fiery at the end. We'll see how it is. Uh, but, yep, that's pretty much a wrap for us here. Hi, right, everybody. We just finished supper. It was amazing. Um, just to do a quick recap on, on uh, the ribs today. Um, didn't go into a lot of detail on the cook. Um, if you want to kind of see the cooking process, kind of a little bit more in depth what I did, I'll tag the rib video that I did two weeks ago at the end of this video. You guys can check out a little bit more detail. This was just cooking ribs in a couple different ways. Um, Quick recap, we did uh, two ribs exactly the same with uh, Killer Hogs uh, barbecue rub. That was two parts uh, that, two parts salt, two parts pepper. One we foiled them, the other we wrapped them in butcher paper, the other was Cosmos Q Killer, che uh, Killer Bee Chipotle and some, uh, some uh, Texas rib candy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, just a, just a experimental uh, experimentation day. Uh, cooking, uh, cooking ribs different ways. Um, I think kind of the out the outcomes of what I saw. I kind of like cooking them in butcher paper a little bit. Better. I felt like I felt like the rib looked a little bit better in the end. But uh, like I said, just cooking some supper, having some fun with it. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time on the next video of Aviator Q. See ya.